Hi everyone, my name is Carolyn Burton and I am an account manager here at Ocrelis and I am going to tell you a little bit more about our fraud offering and how you can make sure that your company is working to catch fraud before it's funded. Here at Ocrelis, when it comes to fighting fraud, the best offense is a strong defense. That's why we review 100% of the transactions for suspicious activity and inspect all files with file tampering detection to identify that fraudulent activity. Because fraudsters are getting better equipped by the day, our technology is constantly being optimized through machine learning and also our network effect of having hundreds of lenders on our platform. This network enables us to see more transactional data and adapt to any kind of changes in the format. The result? we have a superior fraud protection. Ocrelis technology catches activity that's otherwise undetectable to the human eye. So here's a snapshot of some of the tricky instances that our system can detect. Incomplete transaction data, incomplete statement period data, identity theft or synthetic identity, hidden loan stacking, invalid amounts or balance padding, and also photoshopped data. Why don't we go through a couple of examples of what you can expect to see if the file has been tampered with. We'll start with something that's a bit more common and a little bit easier to catch. Let's put your eyes to the test to see if you can spot the fraud. What do you see in this example? Can't see it? Or maybe you did. But no worries, that's why we built the technology. So here's what we found in this instance. If you look at the green text versus the red text, what we're showing here is who wrote the information and at which time it was written. So here, the red is indicating that the bank wrote the data. So you see that all of the left-hand columns are written in that red data, and on the right, you'll see it too. Whereas the green data is the data that was written by someone outside of the banking institution. So what it looks like the borrower did here was balance padding. They went in and added cash to their beginning balance, added the deposits, and then increased their ending balance so that the math worked out. Let's move on to a second example. What do you see here? So here's what we found in this instance. Once we look at the image with the file tampering detection colors enabled, we can see that it's a valid statement, but it's not for this month. All the months have been changed to June, so this is likely an old statement when the health of the business was much stronger than it is today. If this was all edited by the bank, everything below the pink headers would be in that red, orangish color. You wouldn't see any of that, that grayish purple. All right, so how about another example of, of what we catch with file tampering detection? The blurred part of the description might look suspicious, but that's just us redacting the PII for the purpose of this exercise. Can you spot what part of this statement is fraudulent? So here on the color-coded image, we can concur that it's most likely loan stacking that the borrower is trying to hide. While we are not 100% sure what the original text said, we do know that it's an even number coming from someone that they do not want to disclose to the lender, thus leading us to believe this is money from another lender that they've taken on. So that's how file tampering detection works and how Ocrelis is helping you catch the fraud before it's funded. If you're an existing customer and would like to learn more about file tampering detection, please reach out to your account manager. Otherwise, go to ocrelis.com.